Imagine that someone has just uh, spread a rumor about you, a rumor that is so horrific that it turns an entire community against you and your family and your friends and your relatives and the people that go to church with you, et cetera, et cetera. A rumor that is so nasty and horrific that people in your community want to physically harm you, if not kill you, uh, for something that uh, you have not done, but uh, are, are a victim of a, a very vicious rumor. Well, this is exactly what happened to Jack Poole. Uh, the year is 1928, and the town is Messina, New York. Uh, Jack uh, wants nothing more than to uh, get on with his life, He's a young adult, he's just uh, nearing uh, finishing high school and dreams of uh, continuing his education in a, a musical career. Um, he uh, is working for the, his father's uh, department store, working late one night, uh, stops at a, a local diner and um, the, the owner of the diner and, and their cronies uh, make up this terrible lie. So as it happens in the story, uh, the uh, daughter of uh, one of the um, locals in Messina uh, goes missing. Her name is Daisy Durham, and uh, Ermeline is actually a good friend of Jack Poole's, Ermeline Durham, and um, the folks at this diner, uh, Gus and his cronies, um, they are expecting a shipment of alcohol to, during the time of prohibition. And um, there's a uh, search for young Daisy going on, and um, it's right in the same area where they're expecting a shipment of alcohol, which is going to uh, cause a problem. So Gus and his friends, they make up this horrific lie uh, about Jack, that uh, somehow uh, because of uh, Yom Kippur, the Jewish holiday that's, that's uh, the next day, uh, Jack has uh, kidnapped Daisy and sacrificed her as a part of a, uh, a religious ritual. And um, Gus, uh, the, the owner of the diner and his cronies, tell a state trooper that uh, they believe this is what's happened to Daisy. So later that evening, this uh, trooper knocks on uh, Jack's door, the, the, the home of Jack and his parents and brothers and sisters, and uh, proceeds to accuse Jack of uh, murdering uh, young Daisy. And um, his, his parents are outraged. He's outraged. Uh, he, he can't believe that um, someone would suspect him of this. And uh, even worse, it's... Uh, the sister of, of a good friend of his, uh, Ermeline. So this story uh, carries. So to find out more uh, about what happens to Jack and his parents and uh, other uh, Jewish members of the community, uh, go ahead and read The Blood, the Blood Lie by Shirley Riva Vernick. And uh, you'll, you'll learn more about what happens to them over the next 48 hours as their world turns upside down uh, by this uh, trooper who's uh, uh, going to find out what, what really happened, but he's pursuing this lie first and foremost. And also uh, an angry mob of people who are looking to uh, seek revenge on something that they're, they're absolutely sure is true, but, it, but couldn't be further from the truth. So I'll leave you with this thought. Um, hate crimes uh, still happen in America all the time. People are targeted for their uh, ethnicity, their religion, their race, even uh, uh, physical or mental disabilities. Um, I ask you, uh, as you, as you dig into this book, what would you do? What, what if it was you that was targeted by these nasty rumors? How would you handle it?